Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's London on the track. Run that shit back. We got London on the track. Swerving. How you look so perfect on your worst days. Double C, it purchase, you deserve it. Niggas in your DM, they be Thursday. Hey and guys, welcome to my channel. It's J Monet. And today I will be showing you guys how I made my intro video. So I want to first, first off, start, start telling you guys what apps I had used to create my intro video. I used, the apps that I used were Video Leap where you will be making majority of your editing youtube where you will be screen recording your intro song and the green screen for the subscribe button and the social media um animations also you will be using imovie where you will be adding your youtube intro movie i mean your youtube intro song and also putting together your intro video background Next app that I used was Superimpose, which this app does cost. Yeah, I think it costs like $189. But if you do not want to use this app, you can also use PixArt. This app is to use is used for when you want to crop out the background of the picture. You just want it to be you. So it can be like a PNG of you. The next app that I will be using is my photos of course and then the last app that I will be using is Safari or you can use Google Chrome it doesn't matter just something so you can search up whatever so first we're gonna start off by going to the internet and we're going to go look for some cute backgrounds so you can type in baddie backgrounds you don't necessarily have to um Type in baddie background, cute background, something like that. Type in what you want to type in. Marble background, plain background, dark background. You know, type in what you want to type in. So, as you can see, they got a whole bunch of little cute backgrounds with stuff on it. So, what I had used was this background, this Louis Vuitton pink, I mean purple background. Um, not that, I'm sorry. Uh, I used this background as well. And then I also think I had just went and searched up like purple background. So even you can even search up a color. So what you want to do is once you find your background, you can either pick however many backgrounds as you want. I chose to pick, I think, four, I want to believe. Um, so I had picked this one. So what you want to do is save it to your camera all you add to your photos. Okay, and then you go to the next one or if you just want one, save it. After you're done saving your background pictures, you're going to click on iMovie. It's going to pop up a screen like this if you're doing it from your iPad. I am doing mine creation from, from my iPad. So what you want to do is plus the plus mark. It's going to pop up movie or trailer. You're going to pick movie. Then you're going to go in and... Um, I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to go to my YouTube picture. Uh -huh. Selection. So then you're gonna go in and then you're gonna add your background. So you're gonna click on all the backgrounds that you're using. Then you're gonna hit create movie and it should pop up looking like this. So mine was in in this order. I think it was in this order. I think it was this order. So what you want your YouTube intro to be is necessarily between 15 to 20 seconds, just so you can give your viewers and audience some type of background about you and what you're about your channel is about to be on. So as you can see, my channel my intro is now 26 seconds. I don't want it to be that long. I think mine is actually 19 seconds. So what I want to do is drag these down to the left to make my intro be shorter. So now it's at 19.6 seconds. So while you're still on here, if you, you see how the backgrounds are consistently moving. If you do not want them to move and you want them to stay still, all you have to do is click on the picture, hit Ken Burns Enabled, to zoom out if you want or whatever, adjust it however you want, if you want it to be like that, whatever, and then you move. So now you can, as you move the thing, you see that the move the combat background doesn't move. You can do it for this one, your next one, or if you just have one background, you know, do the same thing. So, so 
So also while we're still on iMovie, I'm going to show you guys that you can add transitions while you're still on this app. So you click the little box that's in between the different backgrounds and then you're going to choose whatever background that you want. You can slide, dissolve, thing, like they, you know, it doesn't matter. It's up to you. So I'm just going to choose different ones, you know. So, as you can see, now all my pictures are still, and I'm going to play for you guys just so you can see, it might be slow, so you can slide in, and then I got this one to slide in, and then this one, the last one, I have it to save. So, once you're done with that, you're going to click done, then you're going to hit save video, and then you're going to save it at HD. 1080p because that's high quality or you can save on 4k but i save mine at hd 1080p because that's how i learned so it's going to export the video <laughs> come on it's taking so long okay it says the movie was exported to your photo library okay so the next thing you want to do is if you want to if you have pictures that you want to edit and crop out you're going to go to superimpose and you're going to hit the double boxes in the left top corner you're going to hit pick a color then you're going to choose the color whatever color you want i chose gray so i'm just going to do that then you're going to hit the double boxes again then you're gonna hit photos this time. You're gonna pick a photo. So, my foreground photo. Um, let's see, what picture? I'm gonna go, no, I don't wanna go with that picture. I wanna go with this picture. So then it's gonna ask you, do you wanna crop it or anything like that? I'm gonna say choose, cause I don't wanna crop it. I don't have nothing to crop. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna choose, at the bottom it says home, transform, mask, and filter. You're gonna hit mask. And then on the right hand side is going to pop up some different boxes you're going to pick the third box from the top and it should say magic wand then you're going to automatically just tap your picture and it should somewhat take out some of your background if it doesn't just zoom in tap lightly zoom back out make sure your body isn't you know gray or anything and then since this spot is gray i'm just going to tap that then I'm gonna zoom in at the bottom, tap this, tap it again, see how it cropped my legs out. I don't want that to happen, so I'm gonna hit the back button at the top left corner and it's gonna undo that. So I'm gonna do this part over here and it cropped my legs again. So now what I'm gonna do is see, as you can see, the harder part is cropping down below. So what you're gonna do is tap the fourth brush and then you're going to go in and brush this you can also zoom in and it will go shorter so you can get the creases and everything like that because you want this to look so good so i want to look so good so good so good i know i can't sing i'm sorry i don't even know why i'm hurting your ears Okay, I'm zooming in between my legs and as y'all can see like it's you know it's getting it getting a job done no. okay so as you can see now my body is cropped out so now what you want to do is hit the home button at the bottom hit the box with the arrow in it and then it's going to pop up and say mask as a png you're going to hit mask as a png and it's going to save to your camera roll. after you're done doing that you can do it again with another picture all you got to do is just hit the double boxes then go to hit photos again and then it's going to ask you do you want to replace it or replace but keep the mask you're going to replace it then you can choose another picture but i'm going to continue so if you want to do that just pause the video and wait and do your thing and then continue come back to the video so now that I'm done with that, I'm going to go to um, YouTube and I'm going to search in green screen subscribe button. So 
so as you guys can see it's a whole lot of green screens that you can choose from and in between these videos you can see the different green screens so all you have to do is click on a video click on a different video this is going to take some time because all you have to do is go through these videos see what subscribe button that you would like and then screen record the green screen button and then that should save to your camera roll so from then from there you should go to your camera roll and then I'm gonna go to my Instagram. Go there so it should be saved so I already have saved one and you know have one made for this video so what you're gonna do is hit edit and then you're gonna hit crop the crop uh, button then you're gonna crop the screen so that it just shows the subscribe saving so now you can see it doesn't show the extra part of the YouTube so now I have my subscribe setting that I'm gonna animation that I'm going to use a part of my video so I'm gonna click out of that and then so now I'm going to I also screen recorded a social media green screen that I will be that I use for my video so I'm gonna crop that and then I'm gonna press done and I'm just gonna crop that video as you can see the rest of YouTube is not showing so now that you have your green screen your video saved all of that you're gonna hit video leap I'm sorry guys oops let me start this project over so you're gonna hit the plus sign and I don't know if it asks you um like to sign up or anything but if it does go ahead and sign up it's free but like for the exclusive things you're gonna have to pay so I'm gonna show you what did you have to pay for, what did I pay for because I paid for the subscription so what you're gonna do is press the plus sign then you're gonna select the video where you had saved your YouTube intro and I don't know where I deal with it guys That's the one. So once you do that, you're gonna you see at the bottom it says canvas mixture texture stickers audio voiceover filters adjust effects glitch tone lap. So I don't know what I had technically paid for. I don't know if everything at the bottom is free, but however, I know that what I did pay for is when I was trying to add a double photo of the same photo if you get what I'm trying to say but I'm going to show you so what I did was go to mixer and I'm going to go to my YouTube control gallery I want to add this photo as you can see it's already you know in my intro video so you can shorten the time on this popping up which is what I did so I had shortened the video I mean shortened the picture time so as you can see it pops in pops out. so with this picture you can add animation you can add, add how it comes in how it comes out and the duration between so i'm going to make it fade in this what i'm dragging is how long you want it to fade in so that's that and i'm going to go fade out and i make it fade out and then in between, overall, I'm going to make it pulse. So I'm just going to show you what it does first. Oops. Let me make it longer so you can see what it does. Okay. You see how it's pulsing and it fades out. Okay. So I think that to add another picture, you have to pay for it. But if you guys, you know, with this app, you just got to play with it. So... I end up adding the same photo and I'm gonna make it do the same thing that this picture did now if you don't want to just you know go the hard way all you got to do is click the first picture that you want it to that you added in and then just hit duplicate scroll to the bottom it says duplicate so it does the exact same thing that the rap, the other picture does I'm actually going to do that 
and then now you can drag it to over so that it comes in at different times but it does the same thing okay so that's just how to add the pictures now i'm going to go to a different background and show you how i did the wording so what you're going to do is go back to this and it's going to say canvas make sure text stickers audio voiceover all of that at the bottom so we're going to hit text and then you're going to hit double tap you're going to put your youtube name or whatever you want to put and then what you're going to do is you can add effects you can add animation you can add the different color you can do all of that so what you want to do is if you want this is how i made mine i want the animation and i think mine is regular but you got the fire you got neon you got electricity you got gold glitter water all of that and you can also change the color on any of these settings the way so i actually like that so and then you add animation you can make it fade in and overall you can make it spin and in and out make it spin out so i'm gonna just show you how i got it spin like that so it's spinning overall and then at the end oops i didn't mean to make it this long at the end it's gonna spin out let me actually make it shorter i'm sorry guys So it spun out shorter. It spun out. So this is how you just add your different texts. And then also, if you want to add stickers, I'm going to go a different slide to add show stickers. So at the bottom it says stickers. You click on that and then you can add a GIF. I think that's how you say it. The GIF. And I use diamonds, so I'll type in diamonds and this popped up so you can just click what you want you know this is just a game that you be playing with i mean an app that you play with so i'm gonna duplicate it duplicate it Stupid. so this is where i you know added my little stickers or whatever as you can see and then also guys i forgot to tell you that when you go to search for a um the background also search for iphone if you want your videos to be on a actual iphone so what i did was took my screen recorded my instagram page made that actual video and i'm going to make it to where like the iphone fits the screen now you can see like the video is covering up the actual iPhone. All you have to do is click arrange and then hit behind. You either scroll up or you scroll down. It, you just gotta play with it so that you'll see. So now you can see this. See how it plays and show my Instagram and all of that good stuff. Okay. Actually, let me shorten this for you guys. I don't know why it's this freaking long. Ba -ba 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 -ba. But this is too long. Okay. So make sure it's the same width as the iPhone is holding up. So I'm gonna show you now how I imported the subscribe and the follow um, the social media platform. So what you wanna go is the mixer, then you're gonna choose the subscribe video from YouTube, then you're gonna hit chroma at the bottom, and then you see the little circle that pops up, you're gonna make sure it takes away the green. now it looks like that you can add the intensity 
make sure it shows clear enough for your subscribers to see you know just play with it you gotta do what you do baby so i did that so now you guys oops i forgot make sure you guys turn off y'all sound on all of y'all videos and I have to see you say subscribe. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Let me make it shorter. Okay. And also, I'm going to go back and add the social media one. So I'm going to do the same thing. Take out the green. Okay, on this one, it's kind of hard because Instagram got the little green thing in it. And yeah, so. Yeah, you do. <laughs> so now. Wait. I'm telling y'all that y'all gotta just play with this app. So now y'all see it pop up like that. Now you can arrange this stuff in this corner, that corner, that corner, this corner. I put mine in this corner that are like that so now you can see how that worked out for me and then once you're done you're going to export it save it in 1080p like i said before it's gonna take a minute just be patient now you're going to go on youtube search up your song i chose swerving by a boogie click on the song screen re screen record the song for however many long seconds your video is screen record it during the duration of the part of the song that you want so i did that part and then now i'm gonna go to imovie i'm gonna do movie then you're gonna click your most recent video and hit create movie as you can see it has all the added parts that i added so what you're going to do is go here um find the video with the song oops now you're going you see the plus sign the play sign and the three dots you want to click the three dots and you're going to hit audio only and now it's going to play with the audio uh so it's placed with the audio and if it's dragging longer you can shorten the audio as well so it plays with the audio once you're complete this step then you're done so press done save in 10p like that it's going to export the video so here guys this is the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you for watching i hope this was very helpful and if it wasn't please 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 dm me on instagram twitter or snapchat about anything that you have questions about so swerving how you look so perfect on your worst days double c it purchase you deserve it niggas in your dm they be thirsty and in person but you're curving curvy little body love your surface I'm on your body, make you nervous. I like.